Today, I want to show you how to design your own PCB that end up looks like this. Stay tuned. Hi everyone. So as I'm working on my next project, I needed a PCB design. So I did some research and I'm not an expert by any means, but in today's video, I want to show you how you can go from designing your own PCB and also ordering them online uh, really quick or at least I'll try to make it as simple as possible for beginners such as myself. So first, um, let me tell you a little bit about this coming project, which is I'm making kind of a, a robot that I want to control with a lead potato or maybe an Arduino. Uh, I kind of needed uh, to try out designing a PCB and see how that process all end to end look like. In case I have a more complex project, in the future. Now, uh, for the software, I'm using this Easy EDA. You can use any software you like. There are uh, a lot of different ones, mostly similar. Um, I would say this one is good for beginners. It was easy for me to learn and navigate. And um, they have a free version. What I really like about it is they also have a browser uh, like a, a web browser version of it. So in case I'm traveling or using a different computer, uh, I really uh, would like that. And I don't want to have to install the client on every computer I use. So with that said, let's get started. First, we're going to do a new project. And I'm just going to call it demo, just because this is just a demo for uh, my YouTube channel. Click save. And here we have our new project. So whenever you start a new project, you get this sheet and here where you're going to add your component. Now we created this project and we start with this sheet. We need to add our component to it. For this demo, I'm just designing a DC motor driver to keep it simple. Uh, first, I added this L293D IC. Uh, these are just pins for the input header because I'm planning to control this from an Arduino or maybe a Raspberry Pi, something like that. And these are two screw terminals. Uh, by the way, here is where you can add these components from. So here on the side, you have this component library and you can add some of the common components from here. So you would click it and then you click here and that's how to add. If you right click, that's how you uh, like cancel. And then if you click an element and click delete, that's how you can remove it. Another way is you can search here in the library. So in case you don't find your component here from this side uh, library, you click here and then you can search for whatever you want. For example, I was searching for uh, screw terminals. You can see here from the side, it's categorized by uh, depending on what the thing is, but you can also search for it here. So I just searched for terminal and I was looking for a screw terminal. Let's say you want the um, L293D. So you would search for that here and it shows you all the options. This is the IC that I'm using. So you would click it and then place it on the sheet. You can place multiple of them, right click to cancel. So these are just extra. Now the next step is to connect everything. So what I want to do is I'm going to place one of the screw terminal here, the other one here. I'm going to rotate this guy. And then I'm just going to name them uh, motor one and motor two. So I'm going to do M two. And then for this one here, I'm going to do M one. Also, let's drop in the ground and the power, right? So, uh, sorry, let's zoom in here. Hopefully you can see it better. Now let's connect everything. So you see this wire tool and that's how we connect stuff. So first we're going to connect the output here to this guy. And then this output will go here. Same here. That's the output to here and the output goes here. 
Um, don't worry too much about the alignment here because we're still going to change this when we get to the PCB. And now uh, let's do the, so this is the header that I'm gonna control this from. And uh, let's do, by the way, um, also keep in mind that you do not interact, intersect with these wires. Like these eventually will become physical wires. So that's something you would have to keep in mind. Let's do the enable would go here. So I want to do that and that. And this is the input for the first motor or the second motor in this case. And I have another input that I'm going to just route around this and bring that here. Now, why are this side? So let's do this. And this is the uh, voltage. So this would go to the Raspberry Pi voltage. This voltage here would go to the battery. And we have uh, same for the input. So let's wire the input here. These are ground. So all these will go to the ground. Uh, I think I made a mistake. If you make a mistake, you can easily undo it with Control Z, or you can just have the undo button up here. So let's go to redo this. So I'm going to go out a little bit and then connect the ground. And I'm just going to connect that here. And then same here. I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to connect this guy here. Now, what do we have left? We've connected everything on this side. We only have these two on this side. So we're going to go around. And that's the enable. So we'll do this. Okay, now we've connected everything. So if you're happy, um, by the way, right click to exit out of the wire tool. If you're happy with this, let's say I am. Now we'll have to convert this to a PCB and then draw the actual physical wires. So let's do that now. So now I've wired everything. We're going to convert this to a PCB. Obviously, I'm keeping this simple. Just for the demo purposes, your PCB will be definitely different. And uh, after you wire everything, you wire your component, you finish adding all the component, then you would go to design and then convert uh, this to a PCB. So you click here and then here you just click, uh, click no, nope, keep going. And it's asking me to save. I guess I have to save the file before I can convert to a PCB. Now it's saved. Let's try this again. Design, convert to PCB. And there, it's going to bring me here. I'm going to click apply. So as you can see, it brings me to this page and this is the PCB with this outline. All I have to do now is place the component on the PCB. Imagine this purple border is the PCB uh, size. So I'm going to start moving things. And let me do, I'm going to bring this guy over here and then I'm going to rotate this. So you just have to place your component in a way that you're happy and satisfied with. So, and remember here, we're going to be doing the actual physical wires. So this is not just the connections. So make sure these are not cutting each other or anything. So I'm going to place, I'm going to move these down a little bit. So to make some room for this guy, because I want to bring this guy over here and then start wiring things. So let's zoom in a bit. And then you see these lines, these blue lines are the wires. So we're going to go here and we're going to connect the wires. So let's do the short ones first since they're easier, right? 
So we'll wire these first, since these are more easy. And this guy go here. This guy goes here. And let's take a look, see what we have. Uh, these are the ground. So here's a trick for the ground. We're going to go to the project. And then in the design. So the trick with the ground, you see, if you go to the project under the design manager, there is this nets. We're going to open that and we're going to turn off the ground. So it doesn't bother us for now because for the ground, we're just going to fill the PCB with copper and then the ground will be connected to the copper on the PCB. Now, here's a few kind of uh, housekeeping. Let's kind of try to make these lines look nice and clean. Perfect. And then I want some space because I want to go around these. I'm going to move these a little bit inside and then see, for example, like this guy, I'm going to have to go around. And then, so it's a little bit like sometimes there are some tricky connections and try to avoid 90 degrees in, in some cases. Um, not in this case, it's not really, doesn't apply, apply here. Uh, let's see uh, what else we have. So we have this one here, this one here. So you just connect all your wires. So I'm gonna go around and then we're gonna go this way and connect that guy. Now, I'm gonna show you how to go from the bottom layer because for the PCB, you know, you have two layers. This is the top layer we're working with. But we have this connection that we can still go around if we want, but I want to show you how to go through and route it into the bottom layer if needed. So we're going to start here. So we'll start with the wire. We click it and then I'm going to go this way. And then you see here, I cannot cut through these lines, right? So I'm going to go under and the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to stop here first. So I will click here, then press B for bottom layer. And then, see, I can go under these wires all the way and connect this from the bottom. Also, here is the layers you see here on the side. This is the top layer in red. This is the blue layer, the bottom. So that's how you do the layers. Now I'm going to switch back to the top layer by clicking here. You see this top layer, so I click it. Now I'm back to the top layer. And this wire here, or this pin, is passing through the bottom because I cannot cut across these cables. Now I've connected everything. What's left is the ground. And you see here, it says copper area. We'll click that. It tells you if it's a ground here, it's selected, click okay. And then I just need to outline my uh, PCB. So we'll go here. And then just tell that to fill the PCB with copper. And then you see that ground will be taken care of that way. And then I go back and then I exit out of it. And this filled up the PCB with copper for me. And now I don't have to worry about the ground. So let's save this. And then Let's take a look at the 3D design. You see that's our PCB so far. Now let's go back to the PCB demo. And if we look at the net, you see everything is checked. It means we covered everything. So otherwise it would have an X or like a red X. That means like we have not connected that connection. But here we made every connection, so everything is checked. Now this PCB is ready to be ordered. So you can click here on the 3D and see your PCB um, in like a 3D design. How cool is that? Um, now let me show you how to get the Gerber file 
to order the PCB online. So that's what we're going to do. Now we have the PCB completed. We need to order this online. So let me show you how to do that. If you go to file and then export under the export options, you have PDF, PNG. This is just for your record. If you want to get a PDF file or a PNG file for your PCB, but that's not what we're after here. What we want is this generate PCB fabrication file Gerber. So that's going to be the file that you will supply to the PCB manufacturer. And we'll upload that to the website when we order these PCBs. Another file here is the uh, pick and place file. This, if you want them to include the parts like the IC, LED, resistors, whatever you have on your PCB. So if you want the manufacturer also to pre-solder these parts for you, then you would supply this file. For the purpose of this demo, we only need the Gerber file. So I'm going to export that and then save the Gerber file. It's usually download a zip folder to my computer, and then I'm going to save that. Okay, now let's go ahead and order our PCB online. For the purpose of this demo, I'm using PCB Way. First, we create an account, obviously, log in, go to a standard PCB, and then we're going to go over these options. The first one here is the board type. This is to specify if you have like panels, like multiple board next to each other that kind of like usually multiple designs or a single board. In this case, it's a single board. We just have a single one design. Now, if you have a panel, then do you have different design in the panel or are all the same? So for our case, again, that's one. The size here, this is just the size of your PCB. So you would measure the width and the height. I'll show you how to find this. Let's go back to Easy EDA real quick and I'll show you how to get that. So if I click here, you see there is a measuring tool here. One of those is actually dimension. So you would click that and then you would measure. This would be the length and then this would be the width. That's the size of our PCB, obviously in millimeters. So that's how you get the size. Now let's go back to PCB way. So yeah, you would enter the size here. So I believe it was uh, 45 by 30 or whatever, right? The quantity minimum you can get is five. So let's just get five. The layers, the default is usually two. The board we've designed is two. So we're choosing two layers. Uh, I'm, this is just, you can choose the material. Uh, you can choose different specification. I'm leaving these as default. Now here, uh, also, uh, you have different configuration. You can change, you can change the color. Uh, you can, if you have holes on your PCB, uh, so, uh, I can show you, I, I want it to keep this simple, but you can add mounting holes on your PCB. You can add a picture or like an image, a logo, if you want. Uh, there are things like that. If you're interested, let me know. I'll make another video. Uh, let's see. So yeah, these are just some configurations as far as like color, size, and all that. I'm leaving these as default. And then here, uh, you would go and say calculate, and they will tell you the price. Uh, by the way, let me show you a trick. If you switch it from DHL to USPS, it's cheaper. So we'll do that. And then look, it's cheaper that way. So you can save money. I'm all about saving money. And then, uh, yeah, you would just save to cart and then you would upload. It would ask you for the Gerber file exactly here. So you see, I can add the Gerber file that we just exported from uh, Easy EDA into here. Submit your order. They'll review it. And then hopefully if everything checks out, they get that shipped out to you. Uh, but yeah, you can make five for five dollars. That's pretty cheap. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I am making a project that is coming soon on this channel. Well, I'm going to design my own PCB, uh, but I also want it to kind of show you the process. And then whenever that project becomes available, I'll, I'll provide more details on those designs. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.